is Jose and welcome to another video tutorial by WPBasics.org. I'm always looking for easy ways to create a local development site. I recently started using Local by Flywheel to create local development sites and have found it to be one of the easiest ways to create a local site. If you are a beginner and don't want to worry about complicated setups, then this tutorial is for you. Well, enough of the introduction. Let's get started with the installation of Local by Flywheel. So go to your favorite search engine and look for Local by Flywheel. Select the first uh, result that you get. That's usually the correct one. And then you'll see this button that says Free Download. Go ahead and click on it and then select Windows, the Windows option. Enter the information in these fields, your name, um, email if you want, and the number of installations I think it's going to ask for, but just go ahead and fill it out. When you're done, just click on the Get It Now button. Then select where you want to save it and your download will begin. Now go ahead and click on the download file that you just uh, got and the installation will begin. Now I've already installed it. I uh, uninstalled it for this tutorial, but uh, so that's why my screens may be a little bit different than yours, but uh, it's a basic installation. Just go ahead and click through it and uh, you shouldn't have any problems. So here we go, it's installed now. So what we can do is just click on that button that says let's go. Go ahead and do that. You may not get that button, but uh, depending on your install, because like I said, I already had an installation, so I'm installing on top of it. So my installation might look slightly different than yours, but just go ahead and follow the prompts. And there we have it. We are now ready. There's an old site that I had there called YouTube, but what we want to do is create a new site. So go ahead on the drop, click on the drop down, and then hit add new, and then name your site whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it Faithbox. Uh, actually, no, I'll just say Faithbox. Now, there's some advanced options here if you want to change these things, but you don't really need to. I'm just going to click through it just to show you, but I generally just leave those alone and then click on continue. And I even leave this alone to the preferred uh, environment. You can change it if you want, but I just leave it alone. So just go ahead and check that you have the right username and password and then click on add site. And then give it a few minutes to create your site with WordPress already installed. And there we have it, it's installed now. So we have a couple buttons here. There's Faithbox, our site. Uh, there's our, I just click on that by mistake. Let me go back, close that here. So we can click on view site to see our site. And there we have it, a fresh install. And we can go back to the same panel, click on admin and then you can log into your administrative panel. Use the username and password that you set earlier. It should uh, log you in. But that's just the beginning, folks. My favorite part is actually the ability to share your development site with people outside on the internet. So if you're uh, developing a site, if you want to show your client or whoever it might be what your site is looking like, 
without uploading it to a live server local by flywheel allows you to do that all you have to do is go back here to your uh, admin panel i guess you can call this go down here where it says live link enable click on it and it'll give you this little link here click on that let's copy it let's go home and let's paste that in and there you have it folks you can actually send this uh, link that has been created to anybody and they will be able to view this safely uh, that has to be my favorite part so easy to share what you've been working on so if a site uh, is part way through developed or you want to get some input from other people maybe you're a client what easier way to do it than this all you gotta do again like i said is go in here click on enable copy this uh, link it, you can just copy it here paste it on an email shoot it off to your client and you are now sharing a site isn't that awesome and there you have it that's all there is to it folks really really easy local by install by flywheel a local by flywheel is now my favorite uh, program to install local environments well that's it folks i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did don't forget to subscribe and visit my webpage wpbasics.org for other great tutorials have a good day bye bye